plastic surgery is not as taboo as it was in days gone by. If you can afford a surgeon's masterful touch, the reasoning goes, why not be the best you can be? But how does that reasoning change when the patient is barely a teenager, just beginning to navigate the thorns of self-image and pure opinion? Well, tonight we meet a 13-year-old and her parents who made an unusual choice, and ABC's Juju Chang has their story. It's over here, it like hangs. Nicolette Taylor hates her nose. It hangs crooked. She isn't the kind of girl you'd expect to be bullied. She's a popular and active eighth grader. Look at how cute you are. As a little girl, she even worked as a model on magazine covers and catalogs. She broke her nose when she was two and again when she was eight. That's when the teasing started. I remember coming off the bus and I was hysterical crying. This girl, mom, she's calling me Big Nose Taylor. What did I do to her? I didn't even know. I don't even know her. Nasty comments posted on her Facebook page caused her to come home day after day in tears. And this one kid was like, hey, Big Nose. Hey, what you doing, Big Nose? But doesn't every get, kid get teased in school? I was more concerned that everybody could see it. All my friends could see it, all my new friends. And I didn't want them saying things because gossip goes around and really hurts. And so Nicolette's parents made a decision. They took her to see a plastic surgeon to talk about a nose job. We are judged by the way we look, whether we like it or not. It's a fact of life. Dr. Sam Risk tells us that 25% of the nose jobs he does are performed on teenagers. People make a decision when they see a kid with a big nose and they get bullied. How do you know that, you know, being able to withstand that kind of criticism doesn't just build character in a child? I think in some cases it doesn't build character, it destroys character. But at 13, Nicolette would be his youngest rhinoplasty patient ever. Nicolette's parents knew that, but they defend their decision. There are a lot of parents out there who say, what kind of a mom gives a 13-year-old a nose job? I think it's fine. Um, for a while, we said it gives you character. But if that's the one thing that makes her so insecure, I don't have a problem with it. Nearly a quarter of a million teens had cosmetic surgery last year, and there are no official age limits. But most doctors recommend that a teen be fully grown before having facial plastic surgery. In a female, the nose is fully grown at 14, and also their foot has to be fully grown. Their foot, how do you know if the foot's fully grown? You ask the mom if they've changed sh shoe size or if, if they've recently had any change in, in their feet. And so, on a July morning this past summer, Nicolette and her parents arrived at Dr. Risk's office for elective plastic surgery. Nicolette was just a few weeks out of seventh grade. We spoke with psychologists about whether there's an emotional downside to having a child so young take such a radical step and change her appearance to avoid bullying. What can parents do, aside from giving their child a nose job, to help them cope with bullying? I think it is helpful for kids to learn to stand up for themselves. You know, that's not true. Um, I don't care what you think about my nose. I'm perfectly happy with it. And yet, Dr. Gallagher also understands the lasting impact online bullying can have on a child's psyche. He thinks kids should stay off all social media until age 15. Despite the fact that 7.5 million Facebook users are 13 or younger. So essentially what you're saying is, in our culture, she's old enough to get a nose job, but really not old enough to be on Facebook. I, I would think so, yes. I do think that parents should have full access to their kids' electronic communications. Nicolette's operation takes about an hour and a half. Her parents are there when she comes out of the fog of anesthesia. What's going on? You're in the recovery room. Finally, one week after Nicolette's operation. Do you remember your old nose? Here are the pictures of your old nose. Oh my gosh. Ew. Her entire family has come to the office for the big unveiling. Oh, oh my God, Nicolette. It's a gorgeous Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so pretty. The whole family is happy with what they see. You're crying. Wow. This is a big moment for you, huh, Nicolette? Wow. I was getting choked up as well. Just really seeing her reaction and knowing how much it means to her. It's, you know, if it's something you can do for your child that's within your control and, and it's really a factor, why would you not do it? The before and after leaves Nicolette searching for words. I see, just, I see like, a, I, I don't even know, I can't even explain it in words. It's just, it's just so amazing. It's... 
she started a new school and even made the cheerleading team. Surgery may not quiet the bullies forever, but Nicolette claims she now doesn't care, which her parents hope is a change that may be more than skin deep. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.